Hey everybody, um, my name is Chad. This is going to be my first uh, video blog that I've ever done. Um, I'm kind of jumping on the bandwagon a little late maybe, um, but I, I've uh, been watching a lot of uh, really cool people doing some really cool stuff on YouTube, um, uh, especially uh, Nanny Snap, uh, my buddy there from New Zealand. Um, awesome job that he does. I love watching his stuff. So. Um, but uh, I guess he's the one that kind of inspired me to uh, start doing this. And, uh, well, anyhow, my name's Chad, like I said, and uh, I live in Pittsburgh, and I'm a student. I go to the Art Institute for Web Design and Interactive Media. Um, it's something I've had a passion for for a very long time. Um, as I'm recording this right now, I'm actually in a hotel room, so here's the grand tour of the hotel room. But back there, Forgive me, I can only go so far. I have my laptop plugged in. And, well, TV in the bathroom tucked over there in the corner. But um, why am I in a hotel room? Uh, a very long, long story, but basically, um, well, I guess before I get into that, um, I'm also gay. Um, I just came out in November of uh, last year, so 2007. Um, so that's what, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, that's eight and a half months that I've been out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so it's, well, not even, yeah, about eight and a half months. But um, I just came out to my mom um, two weeks ago, and um, everything went extremely well, um, but uh, that's only partially why I'm in a hotel room right now, but uh, I was living with a couple people and we just didn't get along, and uh, I moved out, never thinking that it was going to take me, oh, what, uh, two months to find a new place to live, so I've been bouncing around from friend to friend's uh, apartments and staying in hotel rooms here and there, and it's been, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely been an interesting experience to say the least, um, but so, anyhow, that's why I'm in a hotel room right now. Uh, um, but uh, when I'm not at school, I, I, I work, I'm a server, um, I also work uh, at American Eagle, if you can't already tell. Um, pretty much everything I own is from American Eagle, including the uh, uh, shorts that I have on as well. Um, but, yeah, so, so that's me in a nutshell. Um, I absolutely love my friends. I live for them. They live for me. We we're very close. Um, I, I don't get to see my family very much because they don't live around me, and uh, I spend 95% of the year with my friends. So um, you'll probably see some of them on here eventually. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to take this uh, video blog or how things are going to go. Like I said, it all depends on who's watching and um, what everybody wants to know or wants me to do. But uh, I do want to. Um, break off about uh, yakking about myself because I could go on and on and on and on and on about myself. It's just uh, not that I'm vain or anything, but I just like to talk and I can talk easiest about myself, I guess. So, But anyhow, um, a recommendation I wanted to make. I was just surfing around online uh, a little while ago and I found a program and I think it is absolutely awesome. It's actually a plugin for iTunes and this plugin is called uh, TuneUp Companion. Basically, what it does is it allows you to drag and drop songs from your iTunes library into the plugin, and it cleans up the music for you. So, if you're missing artist names or um, you know song titles are misspelled or or uh, um, you know anything like that, the genre is messed up. It corrects it for you, but it goes one step beyond that. It also uh, adjusts the album art, so if you're missing album art for your songs, it'll automatically um, update those too. Um, and if you're anything like me, I have, well, let me see, right now I have, um, sixty six hundred and fifty four songs in my library. Um, it would take me forever to go through and update, right click on everything and update the missing album art. Because um, nine times out of ten, uh, Apple wants everything spelled exactly the way that they have it in their library. 
or you're not going to get the album up or, or artwork. So this program is really cool. It's free to, to try. It's uh, I think it's $11.95 a, um, a year to get it. On the trial one, it lets you clean up 500 songs and download 50 cover arts, as they call them, or the album art. It's a really, 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 really good pro, uh, plug-in. Um, so far, I haven't had to use any of the cover art uh, 50 free uh, usages of that. It seems to be if it cleans up the uh, album name that Apple takes over and downloads it from the iTunes site. So I haven't had to use any of those yet. But it's really cool because I don't know about you, but I love looking through my library at the album art. I think it's just much easier uh, to find songs, not to mention more aesthetically pleasing. Maybe that's the artist in me coming out, but uh, at any rate, um, go download it. it. There'll be a link in the blog here to get it, uh, but if you just go to download.com and search for uh, Tune Up Companion, you'll find it. Um, just just do it. It's, it's, it's definitely worth it, and, and pay for it, too, because um, you'll, you'll be happy that you did. Just just that. Um, but anyhow, um, like I said, I don't know how the format of this is going to go. Um, I'd like to do, uh, you know, some reporting on uh, uh, current events, uh, maybe do some tutorial stuff uh, on web design and whatnot. Um, also, um, I, as I said, I am gay, so um, Forgive me if I, I tend to go on some tangents about, uh, um, you know, gay rights and stuff in the news, because uh, I probably will do that. Um, I, I'm not an overly political person, but um, I think like most people, we all have our own viewpoints on things, and I'll probably use this, uh, um, use this blog as my canvas for that as well. Um, I do want to say one other thing, though. Um, while I was uh, surfing around earlier, unfortunately I'd been away from the television most of the day. I've been doing storyboarding and uh, working on some uh, designs for school. But um, this morning at 5.30 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, Estelle Getty passed away. And Estelle was the, uh, the, the uh, eldest of the girls on the Golden Girls, uh, for those of you who don't know who she was. Uh, her, uh, her real name was. Um, she, she played uh, on there, and uh, she was Sophia, the short lady. <laughs> and uh, maybe this is, uh, I don't mean to be stereotypical, but maybe this is the gayness coming out in me. But I was really moved by the fact uh, that she passed away today. Um, I don't know. It just, it was shocking because um, I just recently purchased the entire series of the Golden Girls on DVD. Um, it's amazing. I highly recommend it. So um, if you're looking to spend some money, go to Amazon and buy it. It is good. Um, let's see. Uh, but yeah, she just, it was, it was very, very saddening uh, that uh, she passed away. And uh, she was uh, 84. She was just a few days away from uh, from turning 85, and uh, I'm I'm going to miss her a lot, uh, and uh, but I still have her on DVD. She'll forever be, you know, uh, immortalized in uh, in that fashion. So, but anyhow, um, I think I'm gonna stop rambling because I think I'm getting to a point where I'm gonna run out of things to say right now, unless I start talking about myself, which I don't think anybody wants to hear me talk about. Um, but Anyhow, um, oh, 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 that's right, yeah.